Yo, yo, fuck with your boy, AngieFan007, Gmail me, PissFan12 at gmail.com. Check it out, we on Twitter now, AngieFan007. What up, nigga, you good? I'm alive, I'm breathing, man. Shout out the whole Angie Fan movement. Shout out to everybody on my Twitter, Dust 3 Letter, man. Shout out to everybody on my face with the big group. Yo, real shit, nigga. Hit the description box, nigga. Join the link, nigga. Click on the link. Come fuck with a nigga. Real shit. Y'all here debating out this bitch. Yo, check this shit out, B. I want to give a big shout out to the Angie Fan movement. Real unofficial shout out. Real shit. These niggas see us. You know what I'm saying? We, made, we only been doing this shit that long. All these battle rap niggas see us. You know what I'm saying? These leagues respecting the movement. Real shit. Shout out to all you niggas putting that Angie Fan movement down. That's why these, That's why this shit is popping like this. These niggas see what's going on and shit. This nigga, shout out to Big Time. This nigga made an Angie Fan 007 mix. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas go click on the link on the description box. That shit is fire. Let me know if you niggas like that shit. Go show love to that shit. Um, that shit is good. Man, I think to me that shit is fire. I'm not saying that shit because it's me. He mixed that shit perfectly, really, if you really want to ask me. Shout out to Big Cheese. He did a Halloween Angry Fan 007 mix. They only doing that shit because they see us, nigga. We a movement. As I keep saying, I don't consider myself a blogger, to be honest with you. I really consider this shit a fan movement. You know what I'm saying? It don't just got to be about battle rap. This shit is about entertainment, period, if you ask me. I, you can take this shit in the fucking... Um, uh, comedy, all that shit, rock and roll. At the end of the day, we fans of these niggas because they entertain us. The minute they stop entertaining us, they start getting on them with some bullshit, getting on these bullshit ass performances. Guess what? You transform into an angry fan, real nigga shit. So at the end of the day, this shit is a worldwide fucking fan movement, real shit. So understand what you niggas is a part of right now. This ain't no nigga blogging, trying to get views or trying to get likes. No, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, to be honest with you, real shit. I just want to make some noise for these bad rappers to wake the fuck up, you know what I'm saying? And these niggas are waking up. You best believe. They are waking up. That's the reason why uh, Tom Big made that mix. That's the reason why Big Cheese made that mix. It's not about me, my niggas. This shit is about us. This movement not, would not be here if it wasn't for y'all niggas. Understand that I acknowledge that shit, and I'm going to keep acknowledging y'all niggas real shit. Um, check this out, B. I need a favor from you niggas. I'm thinking about doing something, you know what I'm saying, for uh, the end of the year. Give me y'all top five male ballads of the year. Males only, females. We will get into y'all the next blog. I got y'all. Don't worry about it. You know how I fuck with Queen of the Ring, hard body. Shout out to Dell, shout out to April from Queen of the Ring. Y'all niggas know how we give it up around here. Um, so that's how the fuck we doing. Y'all give me our top five male ballots. Doesn't matter what league it is. URL, King of the Dot. Spit that heat, street status. We go hard. I battle worldwide. I battle worldwide. Just dropped another battle too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, damn, it's suspense versus I forgot that shit. You know I freestyle my shit. It's, it's a good battle. I fuck with the battle. Y'all niggas go show love to that shit. Um... Yeah, you real shit. Y'all show love. I'm going to put the link in my description box. Y'all niggas click on that shit. Let me know who you niggas think won that shit. We're going to start spreading love again like we used to do to all these, uh, to all the other leagues besides URL. I'm just telling, like, everybody does URL and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, like, I, I look at this situation like this on some real shit. Everybody taught that URL shit. But it's like, niggas got to understand what URL is actually doing. URL is actually getting the best people from the smaller leagues and then bringing them to their brand. So it doesn't make no sense for niggas. I mean, I mean, that's just for people in general. Like, I'm pretty sure a lot of you niggas are only subscribed to URL and Queen of the Ring and shit like that. But y'all got to understand, like, Young L, Verb, and Hitman, they, they came from fucking street status. Remedy, you got fucking um, O Red, fucking um, Surf. They, I mean, they was fucking with Block City. They, they, they connected with that. So you niggas got to be magic and street status. So niggas got to understand, you know what I'm saying, that... A lot of these officials on spit that heat before, like, a lot of these leagues that niggas are overlooking, these are where this shit started from with these niggas. So, I mean, it doesn't make no sense to just show love to URL when these niggas were doing that thing on the small leagues to actually get to URL. That's the reason why I show love to all these leagues out here, real shit, and I'm going to keep showing love out here. Um, So I did all that, you know what I'm saying? Shout out the whole Angry Fan movement. But yo, check this shit out, B. You niggas heard about this fucking um, in your window versus out your window card? What the fuck is this? This shit is crazy right here. So you got Bonnie versus Daylight. All right. I got daylight winning this shit. I will be honest, though. Bonnie has shutting me the fuck up a little bit since I've been doing this shit. I actually thought she was highly overrated. I really like her battle on King of the Dot um, um, versus Gaddis and shit. I think she could have came a little bit harder versus 40 bars myself, but I like her battle versus Gaddis. And I think at the end of the day, she's trying to prove that she she can really rock. A lot of people don't be fucking with Bonnie, and Bonnie's actually nice in reality. But I still think daylight is going to be a little bit too much for her, in my opinion. But I think I'm anticipating it to be a good battle. Um... Yeah, QP from any window versus 100 bullets. I got to be honest with you. Um, QP pretty much lost it in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? It's at the point now that I don't even care who this nigga is no more. Like, he got to bring some bars and show me. He can still battle. Like, I've been watching this nigga since the jungle. So, to see this nigga now, it's like a real fucking big ass disappointment, to be honest with you. We just seen 100 bullets, 3 OJC. I got 100 bullets winning this shit. Um, but, don't get it fucked up. If QP, for some strange reason, actually decides to come to this fucking battle and, like, really battle like he's supposed to... That's going to be a whole different story right there. Because QP bars are crazy. So, shout out to both them niggas. This shit can definitely be a, far, a bar fest if QP steps up to the plate. 
You got Remedy versus Sharon. Ah, oh, man. This is good. See, this, this is like a toss up to me because, like, Remedy is nice as hell. I think niggas be sleeping on Remedy. He's nice as fuck. You know what I'm saying? And Sharon, he's been stepping it up. So, this is really a, a toss up for me right here. I don't really know who I got right here. I just think this is going to be a good battle. The same goes to Newborn versus Prez Mafia. I look at it like this, this that, that Newborn and Prez Mafia is going to be a preference style battle. Like, Newborn's going to bar this nigga lights out, but Prez Mafia is going to have the crowd attention. He's going to be able to get the crowd performance, and he has bars. So, this battle can go either way. And I love the fact that Newborn and Prez Mafia are dead ass seriously talking mad shit right now about each other back and forth. Like, they're, they're trying to win. And that's what the fuck this Angry Fan Moon was all about. So, shout out to that car. Shout out to the Grind and Die Battle League. That's what's going to be on February 1st. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be in New York. I think, was it, 135th Street? I think I forgot. I don't know everything, but I'm trying to give you as much uh, as much info as I can at the top of my head and shit. Um, so, real nigga shit, that's that. Yo, I, here's the main reason of this blah right here. I got a question. Like, what do you niggas think about the state of battle rap? Whose fault do you niggas think it is? Do you niggas think it's just the ballots? Now, understand right now. I understand that we want the ballot to stay motivated. We want the ballots to go hard 120%. You know what I'm saying? Uh take every battle serious, try to kill their opponent. That's what the fuck I want, you know what I'm saying? I want to see these niggas go to war, go to lyrical war with each other and shit. But here's my question right now. Is it just the battlers for, or do the leagues play a part in this also? Because the leagues are the ones that's, that's booking the battlers. But understand, they're booking the battlers because of their name. They know that their name is going to bring subscribers, it's going to bring the views, so that's why they're doing it, you know what I'm saying? Um... Let's keep it real. If, if, if one of the top tier bad rappers fuck up and they go to another league, you're still gonna watch this nigga. It's not like you're not gonna watch the nigga because he fucked up. You're just gonna complain that he fucked up, but you're still gonna watch the nigga. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I mean, and then that's how the league is gonna pop and get their shit popping. So I mean, the shit is kind of crazy. I mean, who do you really blame? Can you really just blame the battle rappers and shit? Um, I think I, if you ask me, I think that, that like the league needs to be on some shit where it's like, like say they're gonna pay these niggas an extra amount of money. You know what I'm saying? They need to take some money and put that shit in the middle where the winner takes that shit. You know what I'm saying? They, you, we got to have a reason for these niggas to be motivated. I understand that niggas want the ballots to be motivated, but understand this shit too. Like, half these ballots would not be balanced if, if they wasn't getting paid. Nah, I honestly believe that shit. This shit's not for the love of the culture no more. You already see that. These niggas give a fuck about their money, and I understand that shit. Niggas got bills to pay. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. So, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? That shit is crazy. Like, I kind of think the league's got to do something. You know what I'm saying? Whereas, even if the battle rapper loses or some shit like that, like, y'all, you know what I'm saying? They pay comes down. It got to be something like that. They got to be some type of rankings or something. Niggas got to want to battle to win for a fucking reason. Not just, oh, okay, this nigga wants me to battle over here. He's going to give me my money. All right, cool. I'm going to write this bullshit down and go on to the next battle. You see they taking like a thousand battles in a month now all of a sudden. And it was never like this shit before. You know what I'm saying? So it's obviously about their money. And understand this shit. Everybody does not even fall into this category if you ask me. You know what I'm saying? I've seen a lot of battle rappers actually have been stepping it the fuck up since we started this shit on some real shit. And I've been noticing a lot of niggas that I didn't even fuck with before. I actually fuck with now battle wise. You know what I'm saying? So that lets me know right there that. Not only was I sleeping on these niggas, cause I, like I said before, man, I'm be, I'm keeping real. You know what I'm saying, like, not only I probably was sleeping on some of these niggas, but at the end of the day, some of these niggas have been stepping the fuck up. I honestly believe that shit. So I believe it's the ballots, but I believe the leagues have the leagues are the ones booking these niggas. I understand that it's about a business, but at the end of the day, I mean, this shit come down to the fans, my nigga. I mean, y'all are doing you. The leagues are booking the ballots to entertain us fans. You know what I'm saying? This shit comes down to the fans at the end of the day. That's honestly how I feel about this movement. And another thing, I also think the fans play a part in this shit. We got to start keeping it real with our favorite ballers. Some of us be saying shit on Twitter just so our favorite baller could retweet it. Some of us be saying shit on Facebook, tagging the battle rapper just so they could like the status and talk back to us and dumb shit like that. If we just keep it real with these niggas, trust and believe, they'll be motivated. If these niggas are doing, uh, 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 fucking up and choking, then tell these niggas that that's what the fuck they're doing. I don't understand that shit. Like, like, I'm a Verb fan. I refuse to watch that fucking Big Well versus Verb because I'm so disgusted at how this nigga Verb went out. It was just horrible to me. It was horrible to me. That's how I feel with JC and um 100 Bullets. It's horrible about me. These are two of my favorite battle rappers. Guess what? So what? I'm going to say that shit. That, you know why? I don't want the niggas to come at that again. I mean, if you niggas get in these niggas' asses, they'll probably start writing their rounds and give us better battles. You niggas ever think about that shit? Like, some of us got to keep it real. And a lot of us don't keep it real. And I see it a lot. We really don't keep it real. And, um... I think us fans contribute to that shit, to be honest with you, you know what I'm saying? And another thing, too, like, like some of us fans are nitpicking, you know what I'm saying? We're not even, like, like I'm starting to notice that people are watching battles, and before they say it's a good battle, they're too busy pointing out this and 
that they, that they don't like and point. Oh, I don't like when he does this. I like, come on, my niggas. Like, we we watching this shit because they entertain us. It's getting to the point now that niggas are like watching battles to just point out fuck ups and mishaps and shit they don't like. That's not entertaining. That's, that's not what a real battle rap fan does. If niggas don't like battle rap that much, then stop watching that shit. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. This is about motivation, not picking their battles apart, picking out the fucked up situation. I don't really like doing shit like that. I like to enjoy the good battles that we get. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I like I just wanna know what you niggas think about this shit. Do you niggas think it's all the battlers' fault? Do you niggas think it's the battlers and the league's fault? Or do you think it's the fans' fault too? I think all three of us play a part in this shit. And I think if we're gonna get battle rap back to the same page, then all three of us should step it up. The leagues included too. Leagues, y'all gotta do something, have some extra money for the winner or, or something. Something gotta give. We all gotta motivate these niggas. We can't just wake up and say, oh yeah, Charlie Clips is gonna battle surf. Let's hope and pray they come with it. Nah, they gotta they gotta have a reason to wanna win, my niggas. If they know they're gonna get that money, I mean it just is what it is. That's that's just like niggas at work. If you know you got a guaranteed paycheck coming on Friday, but you gotta do this and you know you can halfway do it and you're still gonna get your money, you're probably gonna halfway do it. You're not gonna go hard if you don't have to to get the same amount of money. So it's really just life and reality. That is going like this. But we, we really don't want this shit to fall in the drain. Because some of us are, hard, are die hard bad rap fans. You know what I'm saying? So that's what the fuck this movie is about. So, y'all niggas let me know what y'all think about that card. Please go show this nigga big time love on that motherfucker mix, my nigga. Real shit. Shout out to I Battle Worldwide. I see you, my niggas. Your battle just dropped with suspense. I'm going to put the link in the uh, description box. You niggas go click on that shit. Put down that angry fan movement. You know what I'm saying? Um... Um, y'all put that angry. We got some battles dropping today. Head Ice is battling. Uh, De Head Ice and Daylight they battle on King of the Dot drops today. Y'all put down that angry fan movement, motherfucker. Um, uh, I think Chilla Jones and YK drops tomorrow. Y'all put down that, that angry fan movement, real shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what this shit is about. I want to see where you niggas are coming from. Like I said, it's about us. It's not about me. Give me your top five battles of the year and let me know whose fault is it in this battle. Is it the fans' fault? Is it the league's fault? Or is it mainly the battlers' fault? Or is it a combination of all of us? Fuck with me, nigga. One.